Okay, so we are here with Replay and Wickham's F1 Aussie Doodle Litter. Replay had her puppies on um, June 1st, and so they are three days old. Um, we just thought we would introduce them to you. We have six males and three females. Um, to start out with, we have um, this little black male. He will have, they're so tiny right now, the collars aren't even close to fitting, but he will have this green collar. Um, he's not solid black, he actually has a darling little white strip on his chest and some cute little white on his toes. Um, and so he, and he's got this gorgeous shiny little coat on him. Okay, next, next we have this, this is actually the little runt. Um, he is kind of a sable color almost. He's got some black on the tips of his hair. Um, he has this pretty white strip down his chest. And then again, some um, little white on his toes. He will have the black collar. So this will be his. Again, this is just the little runt. He's just the little squirt. All right. Okay, so the next we have, just a minute, let's see the tri-colored male. So he is the biggest in the litter right now. Um, he's a tri-little male. He's got a full white collar, um, socks on his legs, got some white on his head. Um, he will have the camel-colored green collar on. Tri-colored male. <laughs> Mom in the background's not very happy with us right now that we've taken the babies for a minute. Okay. No. Okay, next we have we have this little guy here, and he has this little white triangle. It's okay, replay. Yeah. We have this little white triangle on his shoulder blades there. Um, he also has four white little socks on him. If you can see, he's got four white socks and he's got some white under the chest there and the strip up his nose. Um, he will have the blue collar, the blue collared male. Um, next, we have this little male. He actually has a partial white collar that goes here. Um, he also has um, these tall white socks on the front of his legs and some white. He's got a darling little tip on the end of his tail, a little white tip, a dipstick. Um, he also has the four white socks on him. Um, I think that Something, I'm loving these socks that are on these puppies. They're darling, these little white socks. Um, he will be the yellow collared male. <laughs> All right, there you go. Nava is helping me with the puppies today. So taking it back into mom so she doesn't worry so much. Okay, so last but definitely not least, we have this little guy. Um, so his is a partial, he has a really thin partial white collar here and then this tiny little strip up his nose. Just a itty bitty little white strip. He also has four white socks um, and some white on his chest and also, look at that cute little dipstick, it's so cute. Um, he will be the red collared male. 
Um, and so I'm wondering if my assistant brought me the basket that had the little girls in it yet. Um, so we're go around. Nava's going to go grab them while we talk about. Um, so the Aussie Doodles, um, they have very fun and playful little uh, personalities. The um, Australian Shepherds are a herding dog, um, but they have very loving and loyal um, personalities. And then couple that with the Poodles, who are so extremely intelligent. And Aussie Doodles are amazing family dogs. Um, they're very, they're awesome for families that are um, active and love to go hiking and be outdoorsy and and stuff like that. Um, Aussie Doodles have. Um, uh, a medium drive, um, at least our Aussie Doodles. We specifically breed for temperament um, in our in our puppies. Um, the parents, both Wickham, is very um, loyal. He's a sire. He's very loyal. Um, he's definitely a favorite around here. He. Um, he has a, a desire to please. Anything that we want Wickham to do, he, he's right there, he wants to do it. Um, Replay has a very sweet personality, um, very um, calm, and for an, especially for an Australian Shepherd. Um, she, she's very sweet and attentive. She's an amazing mom. She's such a sweetheart to these puppies. Um, and so it looks like my assistant's here now with our, our females. Um, and so to start out with, we have a female um, that is a, a black, kind of similar to the little um, male. The, but she does have some white on her. So she's got white that goes up her chest and up here on her little chin. You'll see it more as, as they get a little bit older. That will turn more white on their, on their chin. Um, she also has it on her little toes. Um, so she will have the light pink collar. That will be hers. Next we have, let's see, let's switch. Okay, so the next two females are actually pretty um, similar in markings. They have these darling white socks on them. Um, you can see these white socks on all four feet. Um, she's got this white, this beautiful white on her forehead. Um, up underneath her chest and this cute little dipstick as well um, she's kind of that sable color as well that's got the black tips on the end of the coat um, she will have the purple collar and then last but not least we have this little female that's very similar to the the one before um, also has the four white socks. Oh, I just can't get over the four white socks. I think they're so cute. Um, with the little dipstick and the white on her forehead. The way you can tell them apart is this one has just a little white dot on her on the, her back right here. Um, and so she will have this pink collar that's the camel pink collar on. Um, so yeah, that was the three females. Um, again, we had six males and three females in this batch. Um, funny story, the vet told us that we were going to have four or five puppies in this litter when we did the ultrasound. Um, and then she, when she had them, she just kept having them until she popped nine out. So that was a little bit of a surprise, <laughs> but we are so excited. We're so excited to see what colors they mature into. Um, and if any of them got those blue eyes that the mom has, we'll, we'll have to wait a couple weeks before they, they share any of that with us. But, um, anyway, yeah, so just stay tuned for next week.